All right guys, so we have our first ever pre-built gaming PC in the studio right now. And today we're gonna be talking about if this one's specifically from 1337pcs.com or just if pre-built in general are worth it. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be talking all about pre-built gaming PCs such as this one from 1337 and how I actually recommend going down this path for a lot of you. And if you're new here and you wanna see other PC build videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this thing out. All right, so to start off this video, let's talk about what's inside this PC specifically and just evaluate how the builders did on this one. Just as an FYI, 1337 PCs is offering all of you a $20 discount by using the code ZTT and I will get a small kickback but that will have zero effect on how I review this system. Over on their website at 1337pcs.com you can scroll through the pre-configured list of gaming PCs and this one that we have here is the level 2 R4G3 version which is at a very practical 669 base price. This one specifically is a bit more upgraded than that as they upgraded the RX 570 from the 4GB to the 8GB model, they upgraded the RAM from 8GB to 16GB and they also upgraded the RGBs a bit. With these upgrades, the model that we're looking at today costs $704, but this leads me into my next point. At 1337 PCs, you can actually request custom changes like this one, which is really neat. On their website, you can click on configure your own at the top and go through their little wizard and end up choosing exactly which parts you want in your build. Pretty neat if you ask me. I really like how they have a bunch of case options, which isn't something that you typically see with a pre-built system configurator because most of the time they will only sell you cases which they actually own themselves. Going back to our build, I decided to throw all of these parts up on PCPartPicker.com and I wanted to see what kind of premium that we were paying as opposed to me just building this PC myself and I was honestly kind of scared to do this because I wouldn't have made this video for you guys if it cost like 200 extra dollars but I was pleasantly surprised. Here you can see on my PC Part Picker screenshot that the build costs right below $600 before tax and shipping even but keep in mind that this price does not include the upgraded RGB strip which costs a few bucks and the very important Windows 10 activated key. Now we all know that you can get an activated Windows 10 key for like $10 if you use my link down in the description. But yeah, overall, you're paying about $100 for the premium, which in my opinion is actually a pretty good deal considering how good of a job they actually did configuring this system. First up, the combination of parts that this build comes with for a $700 build is about as balanced as you can get. A first generation Ryzen 5 1600 and an 8GB RX 570 is the perfect sweet spot for gaming in 1080p, and you can even push to 1440p in lighter titles, but don't worry, we'll get into the benchmarks in just a bit. Before that though, I do want to talk about the fine detail that I found when exactly examining the actual build quality of this build and I found some small attention to detail that I really want to talk about. First up, right when I took the build out of the box, I could tell that they took the safety of the build during shipping very seriously as they used the original case's box which of course is custom made and they even put that type of foam that custom fits to anything inside the build that way none of the components move during transit. They also included a box with a nice welcome guide that shows you some actually useful information that a first time PC gamer would need such as how to switch your monitor's refresh rate. You can certainly take advantage of a 144Hz monitor with this build and I have a dedicated review of my personal favorite one which you should totally check out. Also inside the box was a power cable and this RGB remote which allows you to change the color of the RGB strip like this. Oh my god it didn't work. Really? Like that. Evaluating the actual build now, the first thing that I noticed was that they electrically taped the RGB strip connector so that it doesn't become unplugged and that's actually very useful if you've ever used one of these before. Moving down to the graphics card, they used the zip tie to tie off those extra two pins on the connector so they aren't just dangling like you've probably seen in a lot of my budget builds. Another attention to detail that I saw was the positioning of the IR remote sensor and it's sticking out minimally and you barely notice it which is much appreciated. Finally, after removing the rear side panel, you can see that the cable management is on point and I personally don't ever cable manage even this good in most of my builds. All four of these things are steps that I personally usually don't take when configuring a gaming PC. A brand new PC builder certainly wouldn't think about a lot of these and overall I'm just very happy with the fine craftsmanship that they use when building this PC and I think that has a lot of value to it. Moving on to my favorite part of any build video, the benchmarks, and before getting into the actual results, I just want to show you that the pre-configured ones on their website, they actually list the 
the FPS that you should expect in game, which is pretty neat. I do wish that they showed the exact settings that were used. There's a big difference between low and ultra settings, obviously, but at least they give you some sort of ballpark to work with. Moving into my own benchmarks though, the first game that I benchmarked was Fortnite because that game still has to lead all of these benchmarking runs and in 1080p and pro settings, which is basically epic view distance and everything else set at low, I got right at our max refresh rate of 143 FPS. Next up was Rainbow Six Siege and with the built-in benchmarking tool in 1080p and very high settings, we got pretty similar results with a 147 FPS average. Getting into the tougher to run games, I fired up the brand new Borderlands 3. I did a very in-depth benchmarking video on this one by the way, and in 1080p and medium settings, I averaged right above our target 60 FPS mark at 65. Gears 5 was up next, also I have a dedicated benchmarking video on this one, and in 1080p and high settings with the built-in benchmarking tool, I got an average of 67 frames per second. And finally, the last game that I benchmarked was my latest game addiction, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and in 1080p with high settings, remember there's no presets in this game, so most of the settings were just set to around high, here I got an average of 67 frames per second. So with the results out of the way, I want to recap this video by saying, yes, some pre-built gaming PCs are worth it, especially for you new PC gamers. If this is your first time jumping into PC gaming, then there is an absolute ton of information that you need to know before building your own rig, and I don't want to steer you away from doing that, but going with a pre-built may just be the best option for you. Now, most of you guys that watch my videos are still in school, and you have thousands of hours of free time at your disposal to look up exactly what you need to know about building a PC, but for those of you that are strapped for time like me, if this is your first time building a PC and you find a company that you trust such as 1337 PCs, then yeah, I would definitely recommend it. 1337 PCs did a fantastic job of physically building the PC, they balance the performance of the parts perfectly, and they have a really nice website that allows you to configure the PC that you really want or choose the easier options with a pre-configured one. One thing to note is that they actually also offer financing so you can pay small monthly bills instead of it all at once, which is a nice feature to have. Well, that wraps up my review of pre-built gaming PCs in general, and specifically this one from 1337 PCs. Don't forget that you can use discount code ZTT to save some money off their website, and be sure to let me know down in the comment section what you thought of this build. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button, because coming up next, we're going over a PC build that I actually built. You don't want to miss that video.